This is Hank, and he's a eight-year-old Westphalian gelding. And today we're gonna work a little bit on the Piaf, see if we can get um, some half steps started. What I wanna work on with the horses is that I teach them to lift the legs and hold them up and underneath their body until I release them. Then I can get the other leg up and underneath, waiting for him there. wait him out until he holds it up underneath and then release. Then the other leg up and underneath and release. The other leg up and underneath and release. The next step is to start adding it with a little bit of forward momentum. So you touch the hind leg as it's out behind and then what you want is a forward reaction. So forward and under, and then the next leg, forward and under, and then the next leg, forward, forward and under, and then the next leg, forward and under. Good. And then there you can see that he gets like base narrow. So he starts creeping the hind legs up underneath his body. That's kind of what I want, because that's also in the direction of the Piaf, that he learns to sit. Good. Then the next hind leg, under. And the next hind leg, under. Good boy. So the next step is adding together the leg lifting and moving forward. So he thinks of picking the leg up and under as we're walking forward. So as he's coming forward, I come, I touch him here. He comes under with the leg. Good, and then release and forward again. Touch him here, under with the leg and release. That's good. Comes under with the leg, good, and release. Comes under, good, and the next leg, under, good, and the next leg, under, good. Then I can start speeding that up. Good, so he starts thinking like quicker, more under with the hind leg. I, I want to set the pressure up so that there's pressure when he's walking and then as he goes into the trot rhythm or into the half step, there's true relief. So again, pressure, pressure, good, and relief. Oh, oh, there he's searching. He's really a sensitive horse. So I don't want to do too much that I rattle him. There, good boy. There he's searching really hard. I want to emphasize that it's, it's not just the quality of steps you can generate, it's the quality of steps you can generate with them in true self-carriage. So it's not like me pushing for those steps, it's him finding those steps kind of on his own and me applying the pressure around that so that when he does find it, he finds true relief. And that way, the next time I can do less. I also want, like if I click to him, that he thinks activity. Good, oh. There, there's no whip. I'm not touching him with the whip. So keeping my aids truly small, Again. Oh, just waiting for him to find that rhythm. But that's a good response on his part. He's really trying. Looking, looking to find what I'm asking for. He just needs to settle into that, into that trot rhythm but it's still green with him, so he's still, still learning it. 
Another thing that you can try sometimes is using your right hand here on the rein, so you have an outside rein, and your left hand here, short, close to his left, the left side of his bit. Then you can touch him on top of the croup here. So you have a little more control in the contact. Good steps there. Oh, ho. Oh. Come. Good and walk. Good boy. I think that's enough for him today. So I'll go back to just leg lifting again, just to kind of finish him. Good, make sure that he remembers this. Good, lifting that, release, lifting that, release, lifting, release, that's good.